Britain in the Age of Arthur by Ilkia Servan. I'm sorry if I um, said your name wrong. I L K K A. Um, so a, a military biography. So you got um, list of plates, list of maps, and introduction. Um, it's about like three sentences, not a huge intro, just to why the author wrote um, the book. Um, chapter one can be kind of an introduction as well, but more of um, addressing like why doing this. Um, so like another mistake uh, perpetuated by the classicists and many medievalists in their uh, readiness to dismay all evidence presented by a source if it includes any elements of supernatural or supposedly legendary material. The letter can often mean a prejudiced like, attitude towards many feats of arms, which are too often dismissed as legends without taking into account the fact that warrior societies um, saw such deeds as particularly important things to record. Um, so like it's based on um, slash analysis of draft Geoffrey of Monmouth and earlier material. Um, so like what they've recorded at that time of they were living. Um, like enemies like the Romans, the Pits, and the Irish, etc. Uh, Battle of the Field of Maspali in 451, 452. Um, as well as the Battle of Conspur in those same years. Um, and it does go into different battles and um, sieges. Um, Arthur's immediate successors, like Constantine, um, Arlev's Conanus, and uh, three others. Um, so, like, the background, so like the Britons, uh, the British fleet. Um, you may get some like imagery like that. Um, so like, and like what a pick boat would look like. Dating the Arthurian age, they can uh, Dated based on two, I believe, secured dates. The first of these being is the British Embassy to Atidius in his third councilship, which can be dated to 446. Um, Gildas. Um, you are getting a decent amount of like different types of information. Um, so like, you are getting some detailed um, analysis of um, like the Battle of the Field of Masabali in 451-452. So this is the Cornwall Battle. So you are getting both an introduction plus a bit of um, further information. Um, Siege of York, uh, a retreat, um, so you are getting like the maps and battle plans and stuff. Uh, so, appendix to Swedish rock carvings and naval tactics. Um, original sources available on the web, secondary sources and translation of the primary sources. Like the bibliography actually looks pretty decent, so um, you can tell that the author has looked at um, a variety of different um, sourcing. So like 
which is good in historical texts, like history texts, you want a decent um, selection, whether it be um, like primary or secondary. Yeah, you want more primary kind of sourcing, but if it's more the secondary, it can work too. Um, so you do get um, some imagery. Some of the imagery, oh, you got like photographs there. Some of these Im images are like, to me are like, they just went on like paint. <laughs> and used clip art on there, but um, it can be um, a decent look for those who are interested in the time of Arthur or like, um, battles in British history so uh, or if you are doing some sort of working on uh, Geoffrey of Monmouth this can be a great um, book to look at because um, it's uh, author looking at um, the work as long uh, along with the different battles as well so yeah, Britain in the Age of Arthur, happy readings.